the true honor So let's get it, yeah, let's see what we can uncover I had to let that play for a second, I just had to. But tally ho, it's King Shoshin, also known as It's Shoshin, and welcome to Persona 4 Golden. Giving this a try and seeing how far I get with this. Um, do want to quickly say, before I jump into anything though, I have played this before. I've played Persona 3, I've played Persona 4, I've played Persona 5, I've played Strikers, there's a ton that I have played. But, I kind of felt like playing this, and to be honest, I didn't enjoy this particular game as much as 3 and 5, so this is me trying to attempt to see if maybe playing a sec for a second time, maybe something will click this time. Um, so this is me replaying the game. Um, can can you not? I pressed A to go on the menu so you wouldn't do this. God damn it, I hate video games sometimes. <laughs> but um... But yeah, so I wanted to let you know about that in advance. Also, this is not going to be like a super amazing, wonderful, fantastic, like, badass playthrough where I'm going to be playing at the best ability because some people get really, really uptight about that stuff and want you, I forgot to put the volume back down, um, want you to be like the best that you can be at the game. That's not going to be this playthrough, this is going to be super casual, it's going to be super scuffed, it's going to be me messing up and probably having, making poor decisions all the way through. So, if you can't deal with that, if you can't get over that, then you're probably better off watching something else. I just wanted to let you know in advance. I'm here to have fun, I'm here to relax, I'm here to have a good time. I'm not here to play to the best of the best possible ability that I can and have the- and, and get everything completed in one playthrough and do all of this stuff and whatever. So if you can't deal with that, then please kindly just go and watch something else, because I do not want to have to deal with that, to be really honest. Anyway, you can connect to the internet to access new functions in Persona 4 Golden, would you like to know more? No, because I know all about that. I probably should have pressed yes, actually, just in case someone hasn't seen this before. Whatever. Select the difficulty. I'll admit, when I play through these games, usually I play on an easier difficulty. I'm gonna attempt normal for the playthrough. But if things do get too difficult or I find myself getting frustrated, I may put the difficulty down. Like I said, casual playthrough. I'm not here to be like super amazing at the game. This is just a relaxed, fun playthrough. Difficulty does not affect the story, so choose the one that you'd be most comfortable with. Ima Imagine if it did. Best balance for difficulty enjoyment, experience the tension. You can change difficulty from the system menu. Start at normal. Start at normal, yes. Well, relax and have fun with the game. This game is a work of fiction. No persons, groups, incidents, or terms appearing in this work are intended to represent that I have to read at the speed of sound. I am the Flash. Anyway, I'll also be doing this during these cutscenes, so that you can see them a bit better. I should probably group my border and webcam, but I can't remember how to do that right now. <laughs> I'm also going to be recording this in 30 minute chunks, if you haven't seen that already. Yo, she hot though, she hot though, la like, damn mommy, damn mommy. Hi, butt plug nose. Welcome to the Velvet Room. It really sounds like a porn dungeon or something, I'm not going to lie. Like, the Velvet Room, oh my. Alright, we're back. Ah, it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> also, another thing that I really feel like I need to point out, because otherwise someone's going to get mad about this. I'm not into the whole waifu thing when it comes to these kinds of games. I find it a little bit creepy. Like, that girl right there, hell yeah, thumbs up. Adult characters, absolutely into that. And Igor can just pound me with his nose. I mean, what? Huh? But... 
The party members and a lot of the characters in these games are children. They are teenagers. And I find, I don't care if they're not real, I don't care if they're animated characters, I don't care if it's okay in Japan. It's really creepy to me when people are like, oh my god, my waifu is Chie or whatever. Well, Chie is one of the characters, by the way. I just find it really creepy, to be honest, so I'm not going to be doing any of that. I will do a romance route, but I'm going to be doing it based off of the ship of the main character. Not because I'm like, oh my god, I love that teenager's breasts, because it's just really creepy to me, personally. So if you've got a problem with that as well, once again, you're probably better off watching something else because I really, really don't like the whole waifu and husband or culture thing when it comes to teenage characters. It's just really creepy to me. Anyway. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Hell yeah, brother. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. You're a contract. <laughs> it may <laughs> got him. <laughs> that such a fate awaits you in the near future. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? I am gonna use the name that is usually used. Actually, I can't remember. Is it backwards or is it forward? Oh, last name. Thank you. Thank you, game. It actually cleared that up for me. I'm happy about that. So, one of the canon names that I'm aware of, because for anyone that doesn't know, these games can be really weird with naming, because, like, all these main characters have, like, a bunch of different names depending on, like, what you read or play or whatever. They change their names, like, every five seconds. But one of the most common ones I tend to see is Yu Narakami. So that's what I'm sticking with. I think there's also Soji Seta, I think, is one of them. I see. But because I uh, I've watched the anime for this and stuff as well, I'm kind of used to the uh, to those specific canon names, so I just stick with those. Now let's take a look into your future, shall we? I'd like to take a look into your future, actually, sir. Yeah, what up? Show me your future. Do you believe in fortune telling? Fuck no. <laughs> Not at all. Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? Do you follow the same principles? Got him. Ah, my nose is so itchy. Ah! The tower. Hmm. The tower From in the destiny. upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. Well, shit. God damn it. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon. The moon in the upright position. This card represents hesitation and mystery. You're a mystery. Very interesting indeed. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. So I'm just vibing to the music. The I vibe a lot to music. The coming year is a turning <laughs> point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance <laughs> to our guests huh? to ensure that does not happen. There will be a lot of dialogue in this ah, game, by the way. I have neglected if you to haven't introduce played a song game before. To you. Please introduce me. Introduce me. Give me a number. Uh -huh. This Hi. is Margaret. She is a resident of this I place, like what? myself. My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Like I said, I'm not keen on the whole waifu cult, husband or culture when it comes to children because it's just really fucking creepy. But when it comes to adult characters, I'm in! I'm in! Sign me up! Sign me up! And she's fantastic, which makes me sad because she's actually my least favourite Velvet Room character. I just think she's a bit boring, personality-wise, but she's still hot though, so she's still hot though. We shall attend to the details another time. Until then, farewell. His eyebrows are wild. They're like, 
spooky branches of a tree, you know? Anyway, goodbye. I love the blue. I love the blue. Mostly just because I love the colour blue. It's my favourite colour. And this is what I mean. This character's a teenager, but they're immediately like, look at her breasts, and I'm like, come on, Japan. Like, why? <laughs> oh, that water does look good, though. I'm, I'm simping diet. for the water. The like, it's very warm right handle. now. Slim I think that's Laura Bailey from what I remember, giving the voice. Calorie magic. Calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The oh shit, yes, it's a cool scene. My bad. I'm sure <laughs> If first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Shout out to Troy Baker. Like Although I'm not a big fan of him these when days. Down to it, financial and political As a person, I mean. What hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? So I just realized, are we traveling from Tokyo? I never actually paid attention to that, that little section. It kind of reminded me of Tokyo a little bit. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. Quiet down, guys. Looks like he's Not just been yet. to a funeral. Yeah, I assume that's Tokyo then. Huh. I'm wondering if uh, his uniform, original uniform, was actually colored. Because that was like a sepia tone. I think I said black and white a second ago, and I meant sepia. You will arrive at the Yasugami terminal was it black and white? Minutes. I've already forgotten. Passengers what is wrong with me? For Inaba City and Yaso Inaba Station. Please go to the other side of the platform. Never. I'll go in front of the platform. You can't stop me. The scandal involves the Enkistar Misuzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress... Hi, Nana Cole. TV I love you. Should we go soon? Yes, just about. We'll take a bullet for you. Best little sister. Oh, God. Ah! That sound is so painful. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> There's something kind of weird about this part. I'm playing um, on Xbox Series X, by the way. It probably won't look like it, though, because I can't really record higher stuff. Higher frame, uh, higher fidelity and frame rates and stuff. So this won't be in 60, by the way, but the game is actually in 60. It's just the recording will be lower because I can't actually record 60 because my computer is a trash. Hey, over here. But yeah, I've noticed some of the like images are still really kind of like blurry, as if they haven't well, like actually more handsome in person than in your photo. Done anything to them? Just kind of weird. <laughs> oh, you. Oh yeah, we're in gameplay, so I can. Uh absolutely switch over maybe because there's the stuff on the left hand side or the right hand side going on i should probably oh god this might take a second all right i just flipped things over so that uh so that hopefully i'm not blocking too much stuff on the ui welcome to inaba i'm ryotaro dojima i'll be looking after you Let's see, I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Nice to meet you, sir. Huh. You probably don't remember, but we've met. I've changed your diapers before, you know? You know, my little sister mentioned this. Well, my young sister is actually, like, nearly 16, I think, now. Oh, God, time flies by so much and so quickly. <sighs> don't like it. Um... But she was saying, like, someone the other day was like, oh, yeah, you've grown up really fast. I changed your diapers when you were a kid. And I don't know why, but it always comes across a little bit creepy. I always find that a little bit weird when someone's like, I know what they're trying to say is, like, I remember when you were a baby. But saying, like, I've changed your diapers just immediately makes me think, you've seen my dick. You know, you've seen you've seen my ass. You've seen my private parts. A bit of a weird comment there, but whatever. Hell this yeah. here's my daughter. Hug her, you monster! Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Why 
What are you so shy for? My little sister was like that for a little while as well. Ow! <laughs> right on the ass. That's what you get, Dojima. <laughs> the Dragon of Dojima. Nanako. Well then, let's get going. My car is over there. All right. See the car. One of the cars in the background um, hey. looks really weird. Like it looks like it's the car in front that looks like a taxi with a green stripe. Like looks looks good. The one behind it, like if you look at the like the the um, the window and you look at like the fender or whatever it's called on the front, it that looks like they've not updated that. There's like certain visuals going on here where certain things have been upresed and some some things haven't. It's kind of weird. I haven't played this version of the game. I played the uh, the PC version, um, so I don't know if there's any differences. But whatever. Hey, what up? You drop this. She was a skater girl. She said it anyway. Uh, thank you. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. All right. So not you made for yourself with Dojima's address. What's wrong? Why did that sound like slightly accusatory? Like, what's wrong? What are you doing? Huh? Huh? Like, all right, I'm sorry. I'm, I'll get in the car. You got in the car and headed for the Jima's house. But first you stopped by the Tojo clan's headquarters so that Nanako could check in with the rest of the clan. That's a yak as a joke. Ah. Inaba, Central Shopping District Gas Station. I have a bit of a theory as to why this game never fully clicked with me compared to 3 and 5, and I think it's because I've grown up in a very urban environment. The place I live in basically is almost a city. Like, it's like that large. I don't like to say where, obviously, but like, it's very, very urban. So for me, Persona 3 and Persona 5 being in urban territories of sorts hits a lot different for me personally, rather than this like countryside, like quiet life kind of vibe. I, this, even though it's nice, this never fully clicked with me, and I think that's one of the reasons why. In about Central Shopping District gas station. Hi, welcome to Mall. You literally nearly got run over, my dude. What are you doing? Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh, I might not be able to manage it. You might have to hold my hand. Oh, you—you uh -huh. you meant Nanako, right? That's my bad. I thought you meant me. I thought you—I—I <laughs> could, I could totally go by myself. I swear. <laughs> I was just jo i was just joking. Uh. It's in the back to your left. You know which way is left? the side you don't hold your chopsticks in. Yeah, I, I don't know which side's left. Can you please uh, let me know? Because I'm not sure. Um, it's, it's this, it's this one. That, that's, that's the, no, is it this one? Oh, you meant Nanako as well. I'm just, I'm, I'm just making jokes. I'm just, I'm just pretend, I'm, I'm playing around. I, I swear. I know. Jeez. Nanako being a little bit bratty for a, a second. Trip? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. A city, huh? Yeah, by the 1975. Great Radio song. Fine. You want to find love, then you know what city is. Anyway. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. Please move away from the gas station while you do that, though. That just... Okay. boy, Dojima. Are you in you high school? Me. Hell yeah. Uh, no, I'm actually, um, I'm in the military. Yep. I'm in the army. I'm actually, I've actually been deployed right now into this town. Yep. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'd be surprised. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Literally, you just summed up the whole game for the like side content. You summed up the whole side game. <laughs> Speaking of which, we're actually looking for part-time help right now. Your part-time help. Got him. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Sorry, I just had to vibe for a second. There's a lot of fantastic music in these games. 
All right, Anna calls back. Oh, I should get back to work. All right. Nanako is looking at you. Not really, she's actually looking at the car, I'd say. Now she's looking at me. Are you okay? No. Did you get car sick? Yeah, I get it all the time. I actually do get car sick in real life. It's really annoying. Because we have a car now, which means that like it'd be cool to like go on a trip somewhere, you know, and stuff, like a long drive, but I, I just can't do it. It's annoying. You don't look too good. I'll have you know I, that Dojima said I'm very handsome. How dare you say- Oh, you meant like illness, right? Could it be exhaustion from a long trip? Now that she mentions it, you do feel a little dizzy. What's wrong? You okay? Uh, I'm just tired. That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. No, it was actually more of a long train journey, and then we had a little bit of a long drive. I didn't trip at all during any of that. Oh, actually, I did trip inside the train station. I was going up the stairs, and I kind of went, huh, for a second, but I was okay. Oh, that's not what you walk. meant. Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Okie dokie. Mmm, there it is. Oh, just blast it into my ear holes so I can orgasm. I mean, what? Huh? Okay, I'm getting too into it now. <laughs> Alright. Shopping district is near the house, so you should get to know where all the stores are. Alright, examine the blue butterfly to save your progress. Save I like a butterfly! But, first... Oh, wait. I'll go over here, actually. Okay, it doesn't spin as fast as I thought it would. The movement, like, feels so fast in this game compared to other Persona games. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Hi, it's you again. Um, have we met before? Hell yeah. Uh, you were at the station. The station? Oh, that one time. I, I, I wasn't like asking you or anything, Baka. Nothing. Uh, I, I just went. I, what, what, what's to you? I don't have anywhere to go. Uh, the girl falls silent. You realize this conversation is the most awkward thing that's happened in your entire journey here. Anyway. Save time. Save time. I did boot this up to see what the port was like, because I was curious. So that's what that 14 minutes is about. I basically got to this exact point. <laughs> you tell me goodbye. Heartbreak. Happy it keeps on pounding. Heartbreak. Heartbreak. You tell me goodbye. This looking man is single-mindedly pounding on something in the back of the store. You realize you should not be watching him having sex with so- Anyway, you decide not to enter. Hi, old lady. Hmm, you have something to do with the shopping district? It's a bit run down. But we have everything here. It used to be a lot more prosperous back in the day, but we don't see regulars nowadays. If only Juness hadn't come into town. It's convenient, but it's a little sad. It's the mailbox. Hell yeah. Investigations. It's the Mario Q tofu shop. What woman is heading to the store? Crows! Hey, do you know where my snack went? I had it in the fridge, but it's gone. Oh, I ate it just now. Uh, I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it wasn't leftovers. I was making sure to save that for later. Oh, really? Uh, sorry about that, I, I guess. Well, I'm going to work now. See ya. I mean, why are you copying my voice, sis? It's a little bit weird. It's really looking forward to eating that. Seems to be having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. I like this shop. It's very nice. It's, it's inconvenient and convenient at the same time. It's a delicate balance. This is what I expect country life to be like. How is it inconvenient? I'm curious how it's inconvenient. 
variety of products lines the shelves. A friendly looking old lady sits behind the counter. Um, wait, I can chat this? Oh, maybe not. Wait, what? Oh, is it just talking about the store again? Oh, beverage vending machine. However, the drinks sold out is not for to buy. I didn't even see that for some reason. Jim's waiting for me. Shouldn't want too far. But I want to go look around. Alright, fine. Fine. God. You tell me goodbye. Alright, I'm done. How are you feeling? Ready to get back in the car? I'm ready. Alright, let's hit the road then. During events, press backlog button, see the log, and skip the event button, skip the event entirely. Now, I will be doing the, the series in 30 minute increments, but this might be a little bit longer for this episode. Just to try and find, like, a good cut-off point, you know? You arrived at the Dojima residence. For the next year, this place will be your home. It's a nice little house. Oh, hell yeah, cracking one open All with right. the boys. Let's have a toast. And the little sister. Ugh. Nah, I'm, I'm not hungry right now. I don't need some toast. Oh, he meant a drink. Okay. You know what? I don't have any drink actual... Or I, I, eh. I don't have anything left in this now. I had some strawberry daiquiri cocktail in here before. But cheers. Hell yeah. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Apparently. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? It's rough being a kid. That's why I'm kind of glad that the whole overseas work, from what I know of anyway, it doesn't seem to be as big of a thing over here, in England at least. Like, I don't know anyone who's, like, been, like, constantly traveling around overseas to, like, work and stuff. So, it's... I can't really relate, personally. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. Hell yeah. So make yourself at home. Oh, hell yeah. Just, like, takes his shoes off, puts his feet up on the table. Not that at home. Um. Ow. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Thank you for your kindness and hospitality. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. I'm just setting a, 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 not a good example, I'm just giving a good first impression. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. She was tense anyway. Well, anyway, let's eat. I wish I could. Ugh. I'm hungry. Who's calling at this hour? Dojima speaking. Hey, yeah, um, we're having problems with the Tojo clan headquarters. Could you come down, please? Uh, we really need our leader, Nanako, to um, lead us into a prosperous future. Uh, yeah, thanks. Bye. Mm hmm Yeah? I see. This guy. So where is it? I, ju I just said Tojo clan headquarters, and he's already forgotten. Uh-huh. Silly Dojima. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the on right choice way. to skip the booze. On my way. Bang, 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 on my way. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Alright, can I have your food? I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. You know, I kinda wish that the, uh... The one portion of the pink on her dress... Actually, you know what? She's got the white arm sleeves. Yeah, Nanako's outfit looks like Neapolitan ice cream. I'll say it. I'll say it. She looks like Neapolitan ice cream. She's got the chocolate at the bottom. She's got the strawberry in the middle. Maybe the top bit's meant to be like bubblegum or raspberry. So that's like an additional flavor, but whatever. And then the white sleeves are like the vanilla. She's, she's Neapolitan ice cream. Neapolitan Nanako. Sign of the front door. Nanako, it's raining out. I didn't what press did anything. I didn't even get to read that. I already brought it in. I feel so bad for Nanako. All right. Well, I'm off. She has to deal with so much shit at her age. For this week. Next, let's take a 
look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. <sighs> if this was real life, it would probably be rain, 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 and more rain. Because we're having a bit of a stormy moment, I guess, during the summer. It's kind of nice though, actually, because it means that everything cools down, but it's also kind of annoying, so I want to get out and about. Plus, it rains for like three quarters of the year. So I want sunshine so I can get out and about and enjoy the summer while I can. With storm clouds moving in from but the it west, is nice for recording. expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Hell yeah. Find yourself alone with little sister Nanako. Might want to strike up a conversation. Uh, it must be tough. I'll be understanding. It's always like this. My dad's a detective. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. The way that the guy said his name, he was like, the City Council Secretary, Taro Namatame, like he really hates the guy. <laughs> His wife, Enka Ballad sensation Misuzu Hiragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. I think there's actually a character in a Persona 5 Strikers that's called, like, I think she's like Alice Hiragi or something like that, but the Hiragi's only got one eye, I think. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Ouch. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. This is boring. <laughs> Fair enough. Accurate representation of my content sometimes. <laughs> Self-deprecating joke. <laughs> anyway. At Juness, every day is Customer yeah. Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Capitalism, but it's cute. Every day's great at your Juness. Hell yeah. Every day's great at your Juness. Oh, I love it. I'm not gonna lie though, I feel a little bit sad playing this because I recently found out apparently the voice actress for Nanako, who's probably gonna get recast in the future because of this, apparently isn't a very good person. Which makes me very sad, because Nanako is literally just sunshine and beams of joy, so... Ugh. The world sucks sometimes. Anyway. Aren't you going to eat? What is going on on that screen right now? It's like, that girl looked terrified. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Look at this, I, I, can, I can move on the spot without actually... We're actually moving. Uh, 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 it's so difficult to pull it off though. Look at that. There you go. Mmm. Skills. Anyway. Uh. Yo, leaks? Is fucking. Is Hatsune and Miku here? Poppy Paw? Um. Save. Yes. I'm probably gonna end up saving on multiple, uh. Save files. Just in case I need to. But yeah. Oh, um... Nanako is at a loss. You should leave her alone. Yeah, that's fair. Understandable. I'd probably be the same if there was just suddenly some random dude that I'm apparently related to just suddenly living in my house. I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, what is happening? Anyway, gonna leave the episode there for now. I thought it might have gone on a little bit longer, but it turns out that uh, we were quite close to a decent cutting off point, so that's kind of nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna see how this series goes. Because the only problem with Persona games is they can be really long. So we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to try and do bits and bobs of this. I'm not going to be, like, focused on this, though. There's going to be a bunch of other games that I'm going to be playing. Because I'm kind of going through, I guess, what you could call, like, an ADHD moment. Uh, like, like, just... I keep switching games, like, every five seconds. Like, today, I recorded half an hour of the big con. And then I recorded half an hour of Cassette Beasts. And now I've recorded half an hour of this. And I feel like I'm probably going to end up recording half an hour of something else after this. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, but, I, but anyway, let me know what you think about Persona in the comments. Uh, Persona 4 Golden in the comment section down below. But thank you for watching. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Pip-pip-toodaloo!